You're probably wondering how I got here. A man from Nebraska just set the record for the longest journey by pumpkin boat. I thought to myself, like, that's a record, dude? Like, I could easily break that record. You know I've been wanting to break a record. Sure. I just need the pumpkin. And guess what? We got a fucking lead on a pumpkin. <laughs> Very excited about yeah. that. Especially if he breaks a world record in my pocket. In your pumpkin? Yeah, exactly. I'll be pumped up about that. How do they feel? <laughs> All right, now meet the team. So you know Chris, we got him in the pumpkin. You know Cowboy Reed, he and myself are in the kayaks. And then support team, you might not know. We got Ralph, we got Aiden, we got Taylor, running the drones, bringing supplies. Yeah, my name's uh, Chris Long, I think. A little nervous. Uh, I'm getting ready to try to set a world record. Probably not gonna happen. Like to keep the expectations low. Under promise, over deliver. I'm trying to go like 39, 40 miles in this thousand pound pumpkin here down the, uh, the river. I feel like I, I hope we can use this. You know, I, I don't want this to be some stupid fucking thing I look back at. Like I had a microphone and a drone and I capsized a half a mile down the river. This is a marathon, not a sprint, but the most important part's coming and that's because this thing floats. So I'm calling it Cita Vea, uh, named after Vita Vea. That's all I can think of. I think once I get in the water, if this thing doesn't tip, nothing's gonna stop me. There's no guarantee. So I think the speed is a concern. I think complacency is a concern. And then finally, I think just like fucking staying comfortable is a concern because, you know, uh-oh. Motherfucker's in the water. Yeah, it's like a cork in a bowl of soup. I gotta get in the water and get this motherfucker. I'll do the best I can, but it's, you know, it's a long time. Like I said, this river's not flowing as fast as the Missouri. So, I think we'll be all right. Man, it, it is windy. Look at how much we have to go against. Look at that. Look at that. Trees are bending. It's windy. No, I know. The wind around the corner here. Yeah. It's now. I'm just talking about how strong we are, how much adversity we have to push through. Push through a lot of adversity. Did those boat people say anything to you when they drove by? No, they didn't even get a second look. <laughs> I don't even know if they know what I was in. <laughs> I have to make it look so, so fucking easy to be frank. I tell you what, if your target demo is the people of the Delaware River area, they don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck at all, they don't give a shit. <laughs> no problem. No, this is real river guy shit. Real river guy shit. Wetsuit thing, uh, surfer dudes, how do you pee? You know, cause I'm just, I'm just going. Out here peeing in my pants. I'm out peeing in the pumpkin. <laughs> like, uh, and then you gotta like loosey, make sure it goes down your leg. And then you gotta open the hole in the bottom and hope for the best, but. Some of the realities of floating 40 miles, 45, 47 miles, we'll see in a pumpkin. He's got this thing down. He's bobbing and flowing, moving and weaving with that uh, with that pumpkin. 
Him and him and the pumpkin are one. Honestly, the water's not much worse than it was yesterday. The weather looks ever so slightly better. Yeah, it's better. So early on day two, the fog was crazy. Couldn't see right in front of us. Holy fuck. This is crazy. This is crazy. And out of nowhere came a bunch of rabbits that capsized the pumpkin, and we had to get Chris off to the side to get warm. come to you. No, but we're gonna need to meet you. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna push on, we're gonna keep going. But when we meet you, we need warmth. Like we need towels, we need sweatshirts, like buy whatever you need to buy. Chris, tell me how you're feeling right now. I feel okay right now. I just don't wanna move. If you guys do get a fire going that'll help. Okay. How's that fog? Uh it is Slightly lifted, but still pretty dense. Next 30 minutes will be good. Yeah, I, I mostly just want to get your body temperature up. It, it's up. Okay. It's up. When I'm under here, I'm okay. Okay. You are a real fucking man. Warm up. We're gonna be all right. I was, I was uh, injured, injured bad back there. I was, I was hurt. Throwing up next to the fire, but I'll be straight. The sun just came out, which helps our visibility. We could not see, like, no chance we could see that then. So, anything. We just gotta keep our eyes out for the rabbits. But like, we don't have a shot if we can't see the rabbits. And that's that's why I was in the drink at 8 in the morning. This morning's 40 degrees. Now, so. We're setting world records. Uh, not gonna lie, yesterday there was a bit of adversity. Today it was just a uh, couple couple punches in the mouth. Um, start off early, there was hella fog. Um, I'm sure you all have seen what happened after that. Uh, we got warm, we got right. The last like maybe five miles or three miles have been pretty smooth. Pretty, you know, we've we've had some rapids, but we've navigated them well. We've scouted them well. We've gone right, right, you know, right through them. The rest, you know, this bit, I think the next five miles or so is going to be slow. Uh, so we're going to have to. It's going to be a slog. Chris is going to have to use his arm muscles. Failure is not an option. There's no quit. We're like we're setting records. It's no problem. Booty down. Chris's cell phone down. Uh, we, we probably lost some sanity along the way. I love everybody. Um, we appreciate you following along, and uh, you know we're doing you proud. We're doing our best. Sun is shining. Thirty mile marker. We feel like we're in the fourth quarter. Do you uh, do you have a message for the for the folks following along? I love y'all. I'm doing this for you. Uh, we're at 33 miles. We thought we were at 31. We're at 33 miles. Okay. We uh, we gotta get to 40 at least. Look at Chris go. Dude, cruising. They're going approximately two miles per hour by my estimation. So much better speed than our first stop this morning. <laughs> my mom was like, "Hey, use your core, honey." I was like, <laughs> yeah. This is great. Well, good luck. I hope you win. Or Thanks, brother. Get the record. This is sweet. We just came around the corner after 80, and I was like, mountain, 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 mountain. Right, dude. It's sick. Whiff.
didn't stay dry through this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I honestly might cry at the end of this from joy if we actually get it done. We're so close. If we fail now, it'll be a different type of tears. So we made it to Arrow Island. It's like the final boss of Rapids. We knew it was going to be tough. And unfortunately, the pumpkin hit a huge rock. Take some scrapes. The Delaware River gave us a run. All right, so we're going down, going down Arrow Island. I think my best bet is to try to balance rocks on top of it, like big enough that I, that they weigh the thing down flat, like about a flat rock. It's also gonna get dark relatively soon, and we're in a dangerous spot. Yeah, but now the pumpkin is like, hey, we'll know. Like, yeah. I mean, this is pretty snug, but the water, only thing water will get in. Water will get in. I also worried about the towel coming down. I can't get to you guys until a few more miles down the road. Okay. Well, we're going for 39 and a half or 40. Um, we got a big hole. Big hole. Chris is pumping in. Uh, Pumping and praying and paddling. <laughs> Half mile from the finish. We're gonna make it. How many miles have we made so far? Uh, we don't check. Hold on. Check it. Approximately 38, that's a guess. 38. Like 38 and a half. We're gonna try to get to 39 if we can. If you go any farther from here, we cannot get to you. The park is a mile and a half, so if that's what you want to do, you have to meet us at our original destination. Go up to the Portland drop-off, have everything there ready, warm here, everything. So we're just past mile 38. It's so dark. Waves are crashing down. The patch job ends up failing and the pumpkin takes on water. Chris had no choice but to bail for safety. The three of us struggled to get to shore in the dark and the warmth of the truck waiting for us. Is there a hot car at the next stop? That was a blast and a half, let me tell you. And so, it got dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Literally right after I texted oh. Meg and My Mrs. Long like, good? and saying, yes, we're good, we're solid. Safety. We paddling, have the hole, everyone knows. There's a hole. Paddling, paddling, paddling. Taking on too much water, Chris bails. Jumps in my boat. Oh shit, that's a lot of weight. So he bails. We, we and then me and Reed end up. We're holding on to the boat, paddling to the bro, side. Bro, they're like ocean waves in there. They were, they were whoosh, whoosh, big swells, and it was whoosh. dark, and you couldn't hear shit. Like, I was, I was kind of managing with like a half fish tank full yeah. of water, and I was bilging it every like 30 seconds. And I was like, yeah, I got a mile left, I'm gonna do it. Nothing's gonna stop me. And then all of a sudden it sounded like I-80 was right there at that bridge and I was like, oh fuck. It was it, it was it loud. It started coming over the front and then I just started sinking. So we get to the and side. 
we get off, we split up the paddles, Chris and Gear goes in one boat, Matt and I go in the other boat, we made it. I'm sorry, Meg, I'm sorry, Mrs. Long. We cuddled. We did great. Oh. Yeah. We tried, we yeah. fucking tried. Sometimes trying is Woo. enough. Sometimes trying is enough. Honestly, we have a cooler story. Like, if you'd have told me a week ago that I was gonna do this and fucking come a mile short of it or half mile short of it, I'd have been like, why the fuck am I doing this? But honestly, I feel like I just did something, so I really don't care. Hey, let's do a a that was insanity. That was dude. so fucking crazy. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I had to call my family and tell them I ended up 0.8 miles short of the Guinness Book of World Records, but the positive news is that I'm alive. And they all look disappointed. <laughs> I think the kids were just sad that I didn't get it. Listen, the sun went down, had a leak in that thing pretty bad because we were hitting a lot of rocks. It's just a tough river for this. And I tried to plug the leak for over a mile. Um, I was bilging and paddling and bilging and staying still and the pumpkin was sitting low. And then a little less than a mile to go, we hear, and we get this bridge coming up and the sun goes down and big water, big water under that bridge, like pretty big rapids start taking on water over the top. And at that point we'd already basically had to flip that thing on its side two, three times. It sunk under the water. And then me and Cowboy Reed ended up holding on to his kayak for dear life. There were waves coming over the top of the kayak. It was pitch black. One of the hardest things I've ever done, um, it was a motherfucker. But I did not quit. The pumpkin quit. Just wanted to put that out there. Don't grow up, by the way. Be a fucking kid your whole life. Yeah. Dream big your whole life. Do stupid shit your whole life that nobody understands. Because the minute you stop doing stuff like that, you start dying, dude. And so like the lesson to my kids was that like you don't have to succeed at things to succeed at things. And right. that's a really like some people disagree with that. And it's not true in every situation. But I said on the video, trying's enough. So I told him, I just said, dude, I fucking sunk the pumpkin, guys. Uh, but I had no choice. We gave it our very best. Um, and I feel like I feel like I learned something about myself. I was like, I tested myself and we went out and I go, we're second place in the world, guys. Second place in the world.